Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Omar. It is Sunday, March 15th, 3.41 p.m., and I'm making a video about my watch list and just talk about the market in general. Um, so it's been a while since I made a video. Um, this market is fucking crazy. Um, you know, I, I, if you've been following me for the last couple of years, I've been telling you that this market was going to melt down at some point. And my prediction was, if you've been watching my videos over the last several months, is that rates were going to go to zero and then you were going to see a meltdown. And that was coming regardless of coronavirus or not. All coronavirus did was accelerate exactly what was going to happen. I actually think the coronavirus in some ways um, is, is, is helping in the sense that if rates would have gone to zero with no catalysts, right, other than there's no liquidity, then once the market start would have started turning, it would have just melt down. I mean, it, the meltdown would have been f the fastest, unlike anything you would have ever seen, because th there would be no catalyst, and because the market, because rates would be to zero, um, you know, it, you would just see a total collapse. And and I think you're still going to see the collapse. But what gives people some psychologically some hope is they think that. The reason why this thing is melting down is all related to the coronavirus. And yeah, the coronavirus has basically shut down the world economy, and that's bad, but the the, the coronavirus is a symptom of a disease, and the disease was that the, the debt, the world was just in too much debt, too much debt, too much fake money printing, um, you know, a lot of shady shit going on, and, uh, you know, things are going to be really bad for a really long time, so... Don't think once this coronavirus situation passes that, oh, it's just happy times again. And don't be thinking buying the dip that things are going to run up. We're not going to see new highs at all. If the coronavirus was cured tomorrow, you'll see some temporary momentum on the up on the upswing, but you would still see a downtrend. Once rates go to zero, that's it. It's game over. There will be nothing to um, get this market back. The, the, you know, the, 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 and, and the market is heading, the Dow is heading to 7,000. Why is it heading to 7,000? It's very simple. You don't need to be an economist, man. It, it's, it's simple. If, if, if you never address the problems that got, got the market down, now look, this was where the market was back in 2009, 7,000, right? Now, why is it heading going to head back there? Because they never addressed the problem. All they did was cut interest rates to zero right and then that just expanded the lending but all it did was create bubbles and then all these companies did was these greedy fucking ceos all they did was buy back shares right because all the people in the c-suite right meaning all the executives of all these big corporations as part of their hiring packages they get shares of the company so what they do is they buy back the shares instead of like expanding their companies investing in their employees investing in their companies nope they just buy back the shares it drives back it, dr it drives up the, the stock price and then they just sell those shares on the open market. That's what they've been doing. That's why in January, and if you think I'm lying, uh, most CEOs resign in January 2020. Watch. If you think I'm lying, um, in fact, January, look at this. Jack, January 2020 set a record month for the most CEO departures in the U.S. in one month. 219 departures. You think that shit's an accident, guys? That none of this is an accident. I've been, I've been telling you this forever. It's a Ponzi scheme that they've all been in on forever. And, uh, you know, the, the, and what's going to happen is the, the market's going to melt down, you know? So, I say that to say this, that um, you have a watch list here that I built for tomorrow. So, I have Nike, Apple... Dunkin Donuts, DIN is like with all the fast food companies, uh, Starbucks, JetBlue. All those companies are going to just get demolished this week. Why? Nike and Apple are closing all of their stores um, except for China over the next two weeks. So if I type Nike and you go to you go to news, uh, Nike to close all stores in U.S., several other countries, right? So you know they're gonna, it's just going to melt down. So just look for a pop to short into. Same thing with Apple. Apple, right? Apple to close all U.S. stores. Apple's going to close all its stores outside of China until March 27th. And you know what? It's going to be longer than that. Trust me. Um, so they're just going to melt down. And then I'll show you something else. So this is the FinViz, right? Look at the blogs. New York City controller wants to shut down all restaurants and bars. All right? Um, you know, uh, Italy, and look at this. Um, 
crew, cruise ships are down. But then this is the craziest shit. The world is hit with a $12 trillion margin call. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, man, I, I've been telling you this forever. And, and you know, gurus don't talk about this because day traders just talk about they don't care and they all want to sound cool on Twitter and talk about, you know, we just go with the trends. But we're talking about our livelihood here, man. We're talking about the country, you know, the, the way people live. It's changing. Those frauds all make money, stealing money off you dopes who give them money thinking, you know, thinking you're going to get rich in the stock market and go broke. But I, I'm talking about, like, your life, your everyday life. This is serious. Um... And we're gonna see life change for a while, for years. Not this, the the, the economy, um, you know, it, it's gonna be fucked up for a long, long time. Don't, if you're some Trump zealot, I don't mean to offend you, but you know, like, wake the fuck up. Like, they're all in on the scam. All they do is lie. And it's everyone, it's been systemic, you know, um, for many, many, many years, you know? They've been lying to you about the economy's been good. The economy has been terrible forever. That's why everybody's freaking out. And this coronavirus, the reason why it's a big deal is because it attacks your respiratory system. So if you have underlying health issues and you let's say it spreads across a big group of people, all those people who have really underlying health issues, they need to go to the ICU. They have to stay in those beds for weeks and they require uh, a lot of care. The, the country is not prepared for that. That's why everybody's freaking out. That's why you need to take this serious. Um, so that's my rant about all that. Now, now, in terms of technicals, if we look at, let's say, Nike, for example, you know, you just, this is all you need to do. You, you just watch my videos and, you know, I, I've been talking about support and resistance forever. But basically, right, Nike's been dumping since 105. Right now, its current price is 71. All right. So where is it heading? So this is, this is a 10-year, one-week time frame. And you can, you can go back 20 years if you want. You can do a monthly. Let's just look at the big overall picture. All right, so this is where it's at right now. So where is it heading? Where did the buyer step in, right? Buyer stepped in right about here, 66, right? Let's see the level two. Oops, it's not, ah, I hate this, I can't. It's not gonna let me do it because of the picture. Let's see, oh, no. All right, that's fine. So it's just, it's just gonna, it's gonna, it's heading, right, first to 66. Then once it breaks down from there, it's heading down to 50, because this is where buyer stepped in, like 50, and this is what uh, 49. So let's say let's say 49. Like like the clear the clear move would be right here to like 40, 49, 48 dollars in this area. That's where it's heading to next. So buy puts and just fucking make a killing. But this is what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to stop short selling. They're going to prevent people from short selling um, because the market's going to tank. Don't think this buy the dip bullshit that the market's going to run up. It's not running up. The Fed just printed 1.5 trillion fucking dollars, um, and the market bounced the last hour because Trump had a coordinated response with the uh, uh, um, plunge protection team, which are a group of people who basically buy up the market. It was all for optics, but it's gonna fucking dump. Uh, you'll see tomorrow. This shit's gonna get way worse. So once it once it breaks down to 48, it's heading to 35 because this is the next level where people stepped in and then it went on a run. That's where it's heading for 34. So, you know, I'll take advantage of that. Apple, same thing. Let's see where we're heading. So let's put up Apple's chart. Apple right now uh, is at two, right? The low is 249, it's at 277. So it's going to head to 240, 248. And then it's heading down, believe it or not. I know you guys are going to find this hard to believe, but it's going to first go to 233. And once it breaks 233, it's gonna head down to 169, and then once after 169, it's headed to 141. Apple's going that far down. Because remember, they're not making any money, they're not in business, and you know, all those people are fucked. Um, DIN, DIN is the is the company, um, Dine Equity, this is the company, so I'll go to Yahoo just to type it in. DIN, all right, so this is, um, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, this is oops, this is the wrong company. Uh, let's put um, let's type um, uh, fuck. I'm trying to think of. Uh, let's try uh, Applebee's, like Applebee's. Let's see what comes up. I type Applebee's, uh, Applebee's. Let's see which is the company. Applebee's, motherfucker. Sorry guys. Finance. I don't know why I did that. Oh, E. D-I-N. Yeah, D-I-N is what I wanted. Yeah, Dine. Oh, yeah, it is right. 
DIN. I don't know why. Yeah, I am right. I think this is right. I think this is the, if I'm not mistaken, company. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Summary. Um, Dyn is about to extend dividend. Um, yeah, so this is the company that runs like Applebee's, all the like the bar chains. You see, like it also all these stocks are about to go in the crapper. Why? Because if New York is gonna, if New York is about to go on lockdown, which I, which is, which is going to happen, they want to shut down all the bars and restaurants. Guess what? The rest of the country is gonna follow. All right, you can expect that in California, everywhere else. That's really the point that I'm right, trying to make. So, what you want to do is look, look, look look to buy like when the when the stocks bounce look to short into those so where are we heading uh, for right so right now it's at 42 bucks um you know it's going down to 34 and then believe it or not once it breaks down to 34 you're gonna see it go down to 20 bucks and then it's going down to five dollars this is where this is where these stocks are going and i'm not and i'm not exaggerating okay I'm not exaggerating. And the same thing, so you could do the same thing with Dunkin' Donuts, with Starbucks, JetBlue, all the airlines. Just look for those stocks and look for those key areas to just break down because usually I just focus on the technicals, but I wanted to give you like the actual analysis of why literally you can take any stock on the stock market and they're all going to shit, you know? Eventually gold will bounce, but for the I I, for the foreseeable future, you're gonna see just the market just melting down. Um, the melting down will continue this week. Um, you know, if you wanna just play the stocks, like from day trade perspective, do what I always show you to do. Go to Screener, I got 100 videos on this. You go to All, and you just go to uh, Change from Open, let's say 5%, and you wanna look for volume of at least of over a million, and then just pull up, uh, damn, look at that, because the, the, the market just, close with so so high 438 stocks closed above five percent so if you want to narrow this down maybe you want to look for stocks with more volume or stocks that are up a little higher so let's say like 20 percent 34 stocks finished up 20 percent so you can like look at one of these stocks so so for example if i'm looking at it i'm looking for strong value like advm for example right so i'll pull that up just to show you how you do this so let's say advm right so if I look for this, I'm gonna go like, let's say five days, 15 minutes, or let's do like 10 days, 30 minutes. So it closed up here, right? You know the stocks are all bearish. It only went up, right, because everything bounced up. So I'd be looking to see how it reacts at the market open. If I see it spike and hold this, I would, and not hold, I'm gonna short it back down. Because, you know, there's no reason for it to go up other than the algos were buying, all right? The plunge protection team stepped in. You can literally pick any one of these stocks. I, uh, BTU, CBL, all of these stocks, EQT, EQT, all of these stocks, and just look for an entry to short into. But you don't remember, you only short, short into a spike. You don't want to. You don't want to short into weakness. So right now, for example, this is at 9.53, right? So I'd be looking to see right next level below is 8.76. Next level below is is 8.06. And then it's heading. So and then next level below is 7.04. This stock. Is probably heading back <laughs> to four bucks. All right, it only went up because every stock on the stock market went up. But if it's bearish overall, you just short into it. So once let's say the market opens and the stock breaks down and bounces like right into one of these areas and gets rejected, take it short and write it down. I mean, literally, just take your pick. Every stock on the stock market is gonna fucking tank tomorrow. I do not see the the, the stocks running with the way the world is and the pandemic and all this stuff. This is the new normal, and this is why I've been talking about this. People say I'm like dim, but no, I'm just pre just been preparing you. And do again, don't believe this bullshit that this is all coronavirus. Like, yeah, the coronavirus stopped the world economy, so it's fucked up. But the fundamentals are all fucked up, guys. The fundamentals of of the economy, the world economy. We have more debt than ever. We have people flat fucking broke. So. What do you think is gonna happen now? Look at this, New Zealand's about to cut. They're gonna do an emergency rate cut. Australia just did an emergency rate cut. New um, England just did an emergency rate cut. The Fed did an emergency rate cut. Look what happened in Manhattan, in Manhattan. They said there wasn't, um, I'm gonna show you guys something here before I end this. It said, uh, where is it? Where's that fucking thing, article? Um, near Governor Cuomo to Trump mobilized the military. Yeah, this. The, so I, I, yeah, the military I think is coming uh, to to the United States. I mean to 
New York um, because of all this shit. This is crazy. I'm in New York now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can bounce and head to Florida for a few months. Um, uh, let's see. Damn, there was an article I wanted to show you. Maybe it's over here, the news. I wanted to show you guys something before I end this. Um, well, basically what happened was in Manhattan, so many people were freaking out that they went to the banks and the banks ran out of dollars. Banks don't have no liquidity. That's why the, the, the economy is tanking. So my advice is to take your money out of the fucking stock market uh, if you're in long term. There no dips to buy. Don't listen to these dopes on CNBC. We're in for a lot of pain for a very, very long time. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Um, I've been right about everything thus far, so we'll see. So sorry to be gloom and doom, but um, that's this is what's going on in the market. Uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, if you want some more like specific technical analysis, just leave some questions and comments, and I'll respond to you. Right? Have a good one, guys. Stay safe out there.